In this video, we're going to look at this coil latching relay right there. So there is the part number and there's the voltage and current that it can switch. So 2 amps at 30 volts DC or less and a 1 amp at 125 volts AC or less. And again, there's the part number. I think that 005 indicates that it's a 5 volt relay. We also have the baggie that it came in. And it mentions right there that it is a 5 volt relay. Two of them came in there. I got this from an old Make Electronics kit. I don't know if the kit's available and I know they've updated them before. And uh, But it's a rare kit all around these days. But you could find it if you really tried. But in case, the uh, latching relay. With the non-latching relay that we looked at in the last video, LEDs are not terribly bright because I'm still using a 1 kilo ohm resistor but uh, we're using a 5 volt power supply. But you can see the LED, so that's what matters. The uh, LED that is on. So you can see here that we have a uh, resistor to what's actually the middle pin. We'll take a close look at that. So there's a switch on this side and a switch on this side. The common pin is actually this one right here, the uh, middle one. So these are the two relays to switch it. And uh, we have the uh, middle pin there, the uh, common pin, so it's either connected to the one next to it here, or it's connected to that one up there. But this one is always connected. So we got the uh, resistor going to that one right there. And these leads are not terribly long, so uh, I might be off a spot actually. There you go, I was off a spot. So there you go, we got a good connection. So in any case, we will uh, back up a little bit so we can see here. We got a couple coils, so I got the jumpers coming uh, from them, and uh, I didn't mean to uh, touch that, but it uh, doesn't matter. If I touch that, you can see how we are switching it. So these are rectifier diodes here. We're actually putting current through the uh, coil, but we don't have to keep putting current through the coil. We just have to put it through long enough to get it to switch states right there. So we got the uh, two pins there, and then you can see ground on that side. The rectifier diodes. So this side is more positive, and the rectifier diodes, both of them have their cathodes over towards the positive side here when I make a connection to the jumper that goes to the uh, rectifier diode. So the rectifier diode prevents current from going through it when I'm applying power. The current's going through the coil. When I remove the jumper from the coil, the current keeps flowing through the coil. So we might get a little spark or something at the point I removed the uh, jumper, but with the rectifier diode, it just goes through the uh, rectifier diode and uh, back through the coil until it runs out of energy really quick. But in uh, any case, that is it for this uh, latching coil uh, relay right here. It latches into one place or the other, and it actually does do so. There are uh, latching relays that are advertised that actually aren't latching. Just their their modules, so there's other circuitry on there, and the other circuitry holds the uh, relay into the energized position until you give it a signal not to. So those use uh, current, whereas this one only uses current when you're actually applying the uh, signal. So we do need current for the LEDs, but when it comes to the uh, relays, so we will uh, switch it right there. You can see as long as I'm holding the uh, jumper there, it's showing about 40 milliamps of current right there. I remove it, now it's down to about two. And then same thing when we switch it to the other position right there. So the current has to go through the coil and uh, as long as I'm energizing it. But once I remove it, now there's no current going through the coils, but the uh, relay is locked into position. It's going to stay there until we give it another signal. Hope that all made sense. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate Patreon if you can. That helps out the most. But just watching videos helps out a ton. Thanks for watching them. I have links down in the description. Check them out. I'll see you in the next video. 